coming up in the news. Longer prison sentence for serial rapist Davian Bryan. Clarendon man killed days after curfew. My viewers and subscribers welcome to Jamaica Talk TV News, where we update you with the latest news. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave your comment and don't forget to smash that notification bell so you can be updated. Thank you. I am Nikki Burton. Now the news in details. Convicted serial rapist Davian Bryan has been sentenced to 25 years in prison for sexual crimes relative to the rape and abduction of a female college student in Portland in March last year. It has also been stipulated that he should serve 18 years behind bars before being eligible for parole consideration. In May of this year, Brian was sentenced to 23 years in prison for abducting and raping three girls in Bath, St. Thomas, which all occurred in October 2021. Then it was stipulated that he should serve 16 years before being eligible for parole consideration. On Tuesday of this week, he was sentenced on his latest conviction in the Portland Circuit Court. The complainant in that case was a second-year student at a tertiary institution in Portland, where she boarded. According to a release from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, ODPP, on Wednesday, Brian pleaded guilty to the offenses of forcible abduction, grievous sexual assault and rape, all relative to the assault of the female student on June 22, 2023. He was sentenced to nine years and three months imprisonment for forcible abduction of the college student and 16 years and nine months for grievous sexual assault. On the rape count, High Court Judge Justice Vaughn Smith ordered Brian to serve 25 years in prison, with a stipulation that he serve 18 years before being eligible for parole consideration. Of note, the judge made no other order pertaining to sentencing and these sentences in the Portland Circuit Court have been handed down after the commencement of the serving of the sentences on the matters in the St. Thomas Circuit Court, the ODPP stated. The allegations relative to the Portland incident, as outlined by the ODPP, are that about 5.30 a.m. on Thursday, March 10, 2022, the complainant got dressed for class and left her dorm. She walked by a building on campus and continued along a roadway. While it was still dark, the complainant was able to see, as she was aided by two streetlights on the road. She also observed a female who was known to her walking some distance before her. While walking up a hill, the complainant saw a shadow behind her, but did not know who it was, and thought it was one of her friends, which caused her to turn around and say, You frighten me Eno. However, she got no response. Immediately, someone grabbed and squeezed her neck, and she realized that it was a male, later identified as Brian, who she had not seen before. Brian was wearing a hat with a scarf wrapped around his face and carrying a drawstring bag on his back, the ODPP informed. Further reports are that Brian dragged the complainant through bushes and instructed her to remove her water boots, forcing her to walk through the bushes with only her socks on her feet. The complainant, said the ODPP, made several attempts to escape and raise an alarm, but she was unsuccessful, as Brian held her hands. As daylight began to emerge, Brian finally led the complainant to an area near the sea, and reportedly dragged her under a pear tree and told her to remove her clothes. The ODPP said the student tried to speak with Brian, because she feared that he would kill her. It was during the conversation that he revealed to her that his name was, Dwayne, the man from St. Thomas who a kill people and was from Norwich. As she was being sexually assaulted, Brian threatened to stab the student if she refused further overtures, the statement said. When the sexual ordeal was over, Brian instructed the student to walk behind him, but she managed to flee from him and run to a security guard, who carried her on his back. The complainant, who was observed to have scrapes and wheels on her face and lower back, reported her ordeal to classmates who had been searching for her. She then fainted. On March 23, 2022, Brian was apprehended by the police in Durham Gap District in Portland. When he was cautioned, he told the police, Officer Ami. Seven days later, Brian was positively identified by the complainant during an identification parade, and formally charged by the police. 
I am Nikki Burton. For Jamaica Talk TV News. News. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave your comment and don't forget to smash that notification bell. So you can be updated. Thank you.